Hey guys, how are you going? Hope you're all doing very well. This evening I'm going to be doing a mini-series review. This mini-series is a UK production, English language, released in the year 2019, directed by Johan Rank, and this show is called Chernobyl. So Chernobyl is a five-part mini-series that documents the human tragedy of the nuclear power plant disaster in Chernobyl, 1986 Soviet Union. So there was a series of mistakes from the nuclear power workers that caused the core to explode, resulting in radiation spewing everywhere that forced the nearby town of Pripyat that housed the nuclear workers and their families to evacuate but unfortunately they didn't evacuate in time to avoid the effects of the radiation a lot of them developed these radiation burns and a lot of them later in life developed cancer so the human toll was absolutely catastrophic as is the case with the nature toll and now these nuclear physicists and these investigators realize that there is potential for further explosions that could cause more than half of Europe to be uninhabitable so they're in a race against time to not only prevent further explosions but they want the truth behind what happened but the government the Soviet government are hiding the truth because they don't want to look weak to the outside world so they have to learn from their mistakes but the physicists and the investigators are going to actually push themselves to get to the truth even if it might it means putting their own well-being in in at risk so whether or not that is the case is something you're gonna to have to find out for yourself because that's as far as I'm going with my synopsis now my thoughts on Chernobyl. This is an incredibly devastating moment in human history and therefore when I heard that this is going to be made into a mini-series I definitely had to go and see it. Now I had a lot of scepticism coming into Chernobyl because of the unrealistic expectations a lot of people make based through the hype. Now I've said this a lot is that if you go into a show based on other people's beliefs and other people's experiences you can set the bar at a very unrealistic and a very unfair levels because when a show comes and it doesn't quite meet those unrealistic expectations you can fool yourself into thinking that it was a bad experience but really it wasn't that bad and it was uh, it would have been a lot better if you could actually push the hype away and that's a very difficult thing to do easier said than done but that was my hesitation coming into it I wanted to basically pull back my expectations and give Chernobyl every opportunity to impress me as the show alone without anybody uh, outside influence and so that was the skepticism coming into it but I was very very excited to see this show because it has an all-star cast mixed in with a very important sort of event that uh, humanity can learn from so I thought okay the recipe there is is there for success but as I said the hesitations of overhype was always there and so that was clouding my sort of expectations coming into the show but I thought all right well it's going to take something catastrophic to really prevent this show from being as good as I really wanted it to so it finally came out on DVD here in Australia I don't have HBO or pay TV so I had to wait eagerly for the release in Australia I didn't want to go over to the dark side and download download it illegally because in turn that hurts uh, future productions coming you know um, in, in allowing the audience to experience these sorts of things and so I finally saw it the other day and I will say that the, it actually matched the hype I will go uh, further and say that it was actually better than the hype suggested and I will say that this is one of the best experiences that you will ever have it's one of the best pieces of television ever made and I don't say that lightly it's just everything about this show is absolutely brilliant and the small flaws that the show has I could forgive because the positives far outweigh the negatives and you forget about the negatives so to start off with this is a very responsible show it's a very respectful show it would have been easy to go over and glorify everything that happened in order to make an entertaining piece now ultimately if you're going to make a film or a mini series you have to keep the audience's interest and a lot of the time these directors will go over to the entertainment side and I feel all right well you're not really respecting the source material as much especially if you're basing it on a true story and so Chernobyl it has that level of responsibility it has that level of respect it's not a show that you're necessarily entertained by but you can't rip your eyes away from the experience from the first episode to the fifth episode this is a five-part mini-series that I thought each and every episode evolves from the other one and it just gets better and better and better and I couldn't help but feel devastatingly haunted throughout the experience I thought it was a cautionary tale it's a tale that everyone needs to watch in order to prevent these horrible things from happening in the future I thought it was absolutely devastating some of the mistakes that these people made but the best thing about this show is that you have so much sorrow for everything that is going on based on the fact that the character development development in this show was absolutely phenomenal some of the best character development that you will ever see therefore it just magnifies that level of emotion that the show wants so the show has a, a very hauntingly beautiful look I thought all right well it's a very grim and the the coloring is very gray which matches the overall disaster the tone of the disaster I thought was ever present there were some scenes in this show uh, from the results of the radiation that I thought were devastatingly haunting that this is as close to a horror experience that you'll ever have without 
about the show going over and trying to be a horror film. I just thought some of the imagery and the overall situation was just ghastly. It was horrifying, it was devastatingly haunting, and it was just incredibly emotional. You've got characters in this show that have span over a lot of genres. You've got the horror genre, you've got romance, you've got character studies and character sort of arcs that I thought were absolutely fantastic. And that is down to not only the fantastic script, but the absolute phenomenal acting by Stellan Skarsgård, Emily Watson, Jared Harris, and a whole host of others that just show their emotions through a very subtle way. There is no overacting in this show. I thought just by looking at their facial expressions, I could see their panic. I could see their fear. I could see the emotion coming through everything. And it's just down to the fact that it was so realistic. And keeping that realism was very, very important because you didn't want to go over to caricature. Because caricature, I believe, is not paying respects. Yeah, you, something you can do if it was a made-up film, but having a based on such a human tragedy, I thought, all right, well, this needed to be respectful. And the level of realism to this show, I thought was absolutely phenomenal. You've got a soundtrack that was one of the most devastating soundtracks you will ever hear. And it just further magnified that level of depression, that depression that at the end of it, you won't regret watching it, but it's not an easy watch. And it shouldn't have been an easy watch because as I said, the human catastrophe and the toll that this explosion had, I thought was absolutely uh, horrifying. And so you've got makeup effects that I thought were superb. I thought as though the overall setting was very authentic. In 1986, you know, Chernobyl, Soviet Union, they had this, uh, the clothes, the, the cars, the streets, everything felt like you were stepping into a time machine and going back and experiencing this for yourself. I thought the suspense was absolutely phenomenal. I thought, oh, just the explosion and just the feeling of radiation in the air, I thought there was no safe spot throughout the whole environment. And so that it, danger around every corner, I didn't know where the danger was coming from, but you you could just feel the air yourself and I thought all right well just breathing just everything we take for granted was very very dangerous and so I thought all right well the, the level of suspense and the level of uh, you know, horror was there to just really hit home that emotional feel that you had for the people that were suffering during this time. You've got specific scenes that you will never forget. As I said, some radiation victims that I thought were horrifying, but there was one scene on a roof. Um, that's all I'm going to tell you about it, but to actually make that scene as thrilling as it was just showcases how good the director, Johan Rank, and the creators of Chernobyl were, are at actually making something so thrilling out of nothing. And so the levels of suspense will keep you glued to the screen or keep you chewing your fingernails on the edge but at the same time doing it in a way that was realistic and paying tribute to the people who lost their lives during this catastrophic event. This show uh, this showcases human uh, heroics. You know, you'll be inspired by what some of these people did for each other. You'll be disgusted at what some of these people did. And so there's a whole wide range of emotions that match the wide range of genres that this show has to make it one of the most incredible experiences that I have ever had. It, this is a sort of experience that doesn't come along very often and it needs to be seen by as many people as possible. Uh, Stellan Scars, guys, I said the acting was absolutely phenomenal and I thought to myself at the start of the show, the fact that they were speaking English was going to be a problem. Now, obviously in the Soviet Union, they don't speak English, but I thought, all right, well, how is this going to appeal to uh, people such as me who don't like shows or movies set in foreign lands speaking English? I just don't think it's respectful and it's obviously there to appeal to a wide audience, but in this case, I could forgive it because after a while, I just forgot they were speaking English because I was so absorbed into what was going on. And so although it looked authentic, uh, you know, as far as the setting is concerned, they're speaking English. And if you're one of those people who hate that, I would still say go out there and see it because you will forget it. As I said, you're absorbed into what was going on. The storytelling in this show was absolutely second to none. You won't see anything better. And therefore, it's something that I'd, I'd just never forget. I'm just so glad I watched this show. It is incredibly important. At the same time, it it thrills you, but it thrills you in a way where you're not enjoying it, but you're so thankful that you took the opportunity to experience it. And so if this sounds like your kind of thing, I would highly recommend it. This is a show that I will not forget. So not surprisingly, I'm going to give Chernobyl five stars. All right, guys, that's it for my review. I hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, keep watching movies and I'll see you later.